What's up guys, Prince Charming. Today we're gonna be checking out the odd one out, my thoughts on ASMR, ASMR. I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it ASMR or is it really ASMR? That's that weird thing where they get right and close into the mic and then they just talk like this and then they just, you know, they just say, feel, feel my voice in your ear. Just, just feel it. Don't think about it. Just, just feel it. Creepy things like that. Like, come on, who wants to really hear that? Don't forget to hit me with a like on this video right now, guys. Subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a video. Go ahead and comment do you like ASMR, ASMR or no? Me personally, I do not find it appealing. I hate it. I find it so cringy. I do not like hearing, especially with headphones in. It makes it feel so weird and awkward and uncomfortable. I just don't want it. Enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out the odd one out. My thoughts on ASMR, ASMR. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I like to think that my videos, for the most part, have greatly improved in quality from the past year. Let's watch a clip of my first video. Roll the clip. So you know those books you make in elementary oh, school gosh. that you write as a class and some publishing company makes them into a real book? So you know those books you make in elementary school? Man, Quality I has think improved. I could sound less insecure. And I was 18 when I made that video. I was legally old enough to get married. So I'm also <laughs> trying to improve the quality of my videos. I've gotten a better microphone, I've learned to level out my audio, I like to think my drawings are more lively and move more, but mm -hmm. sometimes when I record, I tend to smack my lips. Yeah. And I always thought it was because my mouth was dry. So then I would chug an entire water bottle, but I would still sometimes have smacky lips. So I thought, is it possible Me too, bro. I could be drinking too much water? Is that even a thing? Maybe I should drink Gatorade. So no big deal, right? First I Google how to stop lip smacking. And since I couldn't find anything that had pictures. How can you read this? There's no pictures. I decided to ask YouTube instead. I don't know, maybe <laughs> someone out there makes voice acting tutorials. <laughs> instead, I stumbled upon something indescribable. So, oh. tonight is the return of my beloved Ah. Uh. So there was this about 14 year old girl just getting just getting real close to the microphone and smacking her lips. And apparently there's a lot higher demand for people who smack their lips than people who don't. Jeez, I don't even know why I tried to fix that problem. But you're probably thinking, James, this is just one video, right? This is just one person making a YouTube video, right? There's not like an entire community dedicated to There is Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. ASMR. This is the entire Wikipedia page printed out with notes. You know, I bet at least some people watching this already know what it is. And you didn't tell me about it. What, you think I wasn't going to find out? And my college charges <laughs> five cents to print a page. So I spent 65 cents printing out this Wikipedia article. Money I'm never getting back. So what is ASMR? Basically, it's a video of someone whispering into a microphone and making certain sounds. Yeah, it's a video of people just getting real close and it's so, I don't like it. Like, I remember watching this one ASMR video of this girl eating a pickle. Like, it was this black lady, she was eating a pickle and she was eating it with the most obnoxious way. Like, she was smacking it, crunching it, just like mwah, mwah, mwah. I don't understand how this is a thing, how it's a trend. And it gets so, so much views. It's insane, guys. Oh my gosh. For about 20 to 60 minutes. Now you might be thinking, why? Why do they do this? The Wikipedia article says that the purpose of ASMR is to give listeners sort of a tingly sensation in the head, and some people describe it as akin to a mild electric current. The best way I can think to describe <laughs> it is, you know those Bob Ross videos? Remember how you just loved to watch them even though you couldn't paint? Why did you watch them? Yeah, you watched him because you loved his soft, gentle voice and the sounds of the paintbrush on the canvas. And then when he beat his paintbrush on that little thing, you can beat me, Bobby. I think that's what ASMR is trying to do. <laughs> it's basically supposed to give you the same feeling when you watch a Bob Ross video. Man, you were watching those videos a lot differently than me. Now, since I read the Wikipedia page, let me tell Bob you some Ross, useful facts about minute. it. The first case of ASMR was in a book written in 1925 that said, with a roughness in her voice like a grasshopper, which rasped his spine deliciously and sent running up into his brain waves of sound. The frick? In this part about evolutionary history, David Huron states that the ASMR effect is clearly strongly related to the perception of non-threat and altruistic... Faith, what is this word? Altruistic? <laughs> altruistic. No, altruistic. <laughs> 
The ASMR effect is clearly strongly related to the perception of non-threat and altruistic attention and has strong similarities to physical grooming in primates who derive enormous pleasure borderlining on euphoria when being groomed by a I'm still partner. confused on what Not it is. Not to get clean, but rather to bond with each other. So that begs the question, do dogs like it? If the return of the beloved <laughs> I don't think dogs like it. ASMR was officially created in 2008, but it didn't get popular until a Facebook group along with a subreddit was created in 2010. Now, it wasn't always called ASMR. Instead, people used phrases like brain massage, head tingle, brain tingle, spine tingle, and my personal favorite, attention-induced head orgasm. <laughs> what are you doing with those attention grasshoppers, ma'am? <laughs> but a lot of people didn't want to use orgasm in the name. No. <laughs> that, well, this ASMR stuff is pretty sexual, which it totally isn't, you guys, except in 2015 when people started making a new genre of ASMR videos called ASMR Otica. <laughs> and something else what? that's worth noting on the Wikipedia page, the popularity of ASMR videos featuring women does substantially exceed those created by male performers. However, there are some popular male ASMRists, and not all video creators are heterosexual. So basically, women are dominating the ASMR field. I mean, I guess I guess that's reasonable. I don't want somebody whispering in my ear, but if I had to have somebody whispering in my ear, it had to be a female. Like, come on. I'm not going to look up a dude whispering in my ear. Come on, I have better things to do than that. So can I not make ASMR videos? Is that what it's saying? So the creator of the Facebook group back in 2010 coined the term autonomous sensory meridian response. Autonomous, meaning that it's spontaneous. Sensory, meaning the senses or sensation. And me. meridian, meaning orgasm. <laughs> I remember. Now, making that up. Now, the word <laughs> meridian doesn't mean orgasm at all. Yeah. But in the Wikipedia article, it says, Alan chose the word meridian, mistakenly believing that it was a kinder way of saying orgasmic. What? <laughs> I can see that on a blog. So you're telling me this whole time people have been using ASMR to mean climax, and that's not even what it means. Okay, some other things in the Wikipedia article I want to talk about is that apparently not everyone experiences ASMR. There's also a type of ASMR called binaural recording, where performers use two microphones and place them where your ears would be. So it's extra creepy. Another popular. Ooh. Look, I'm lip smacking right now. Uh. Another popular theme is that these videos do a lot of role playing, specifically clinical role playing. No. Now, I'm someone who never really got uh. into the role playing experience, except when Captain Sparkles does it. Uh, come on, where's part five? Let's read the wiki. The ASMRists provide clinical or medical services, including routine general medical examinations. The creator of these videos make no claim to the reality of what is depicted, and the viewer is intended to be aware that they are watching and listening to a simulation performed by an actor. Yeah, I don't think we can really use the word actor, Wikipedia. Okay, what else? They're There's just little smacking their lips. Work done on just, it. Some I'm, people I'm, say I'm, that I'm, it's great for fighting insomnia and anxiety, but others say no. It's not. Will asthma really put you to bed? I'm gonna put you to bed. Uh, I mean, I guess whispering is a nice thing to hear right before you go to bed. I'm just giving them the benefit of the doubt. I don't know why ASMR is a thing, guys, really. But I mean, it's not like it's bad for you. And there has been one song made to trigger ASMR, but I listened to it. I don't think song is the best word for it. It's more just normal ASMR audio. Just because it was released on an album doesn't make it a song, Wikipedia. And there's one comment on this video that I think sums up ASMR pretty well. I'm extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> I had no idea that ASMR was even a thing. Did you know it was a thing? I didn't. I and didn't. Human College Humor made a parody ASMR video. I just want to make things clear. I'm not hating on people who make ASMR videos or even people who like to watch it. And I'm certainly not jealous that some of these people have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and wow. millions of views and all they're doing is just brushing a microphone for 20 minutes. Oh gosh. Ah. Yeah. But guys. I think this ASMR thing is getting a little out of hand. Keep in mind that all these videos are about 15 minutes to an hour long. We have this girl with a southern accent singing I'm blue and Numa Numa to remove a curse from you. This is creepy and she's- look at all these views she's getting! Inaudible whispering and tongue clicking, a couple of dentist role plays, a library book return role play, eating Chinese food, a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh card readings, a Minecraft let's play, a Five Nights at Freddy's tribute, Undertale, a <laughs> let's play, evening with a vampire, the Joker, Satan, alien abduction, alien abduction for men, and torture role play. <sighs> Really? You could type ASMR and then type anything after that and you'll get something. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, he was right. You really can. God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created. And what's doubly weird is that all of these videos are recent. Like, they were made in 2015 or even 2016. Well, obviously Undertale and Mario Maker are recent. But Shrek? Shrek? Shrek. But just to finish things up, I just wanted to get something <laughs> off my chest. This Undertale ASMR was pretty good. Compared to the other ones, you still might be thinking, yeah, it's pretty weird, James. Yeah, it is pretty weird. We've gotten pretty deep in the weirdness with those alien ones, and they have almost a million views. I just think this one deserves How more How do you get a million views on that? You know, I just want one ASMR video to be like 40 minutes long, and then in the middle somewhere, the person just screams. Like, really <laughs> hardcore screams. <laughs> yeah. That was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. So he pretty much summed up ASMR really good. I now know exactly what it means, even though it originally means something that's wrong, but still. I just think it's insane, I'm, like, the amount of views they get, the amount of subscribers they get. Like, do I need to start whispering in my mind? Is that something I want to see? But don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. If you want to reply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince Hawkins. Stay charming, my friends.